this video is on futures trading so first i will explain what futures is then i'll give you a summary in case you don't understand my explanation then i will show you how to trade futures on binance so without further ado let's just get straight to it what is futures futures is an agreement to buy or sell an asset at a set price at a predetermined date in the future now the buyer must buy this asset and the seller must sell this asset at that price at the predetermined date in the future irrespective of the current market price for you to understand this i broke it down with this slide so let me just share it quickly so this is Lindsay and george they're going to help us understand what futures trading is and we're in nigeria and one of the most one of the um commodities to buy a lot in nigeria especially in december is rice so let's say we're in september right and Lindsay wants to buy rice and the price of rice in september is twenty four thousand. but Lindsay doesn't need the rice in september she needs the rice in december but she is afraid that the price of rice is going to shoot up to thirty thousand in december and she doesn't have the money to buy the rice right now in september or maybe she doesn't have the storage space to store the rice so she goes to george who is a rice seller and what she did what she did was to put forth and a contract and say george please sell me one bag of rice for twenty five thousand naira on december 23rd mind you the current price in september is twenty four thousand. so just look and say well um I agree to the contract and he signs it. John joins George signed the contract because he believes that the price of rice is going to actually go down. It's going to go up. So December 23rd, two things can happen. Scenario one is that rice rises above 25,000 and gets to 30,000. Scenario two is that rice falls below 25,000 and maybe gets to 21,000. Let's look at scenario one now no matter what happened Lindsay must buy this rice at twenty five thousand. george must sell this rice at twenty five thousand. dollars that is the agreement that is the contract so let's say scenario one plays out rice is at thirty thousand naira come december 23rd what happened Lindsay goes and buy the rice at twenty five thousand dollars from george and maybe she doesn't really need this rice she can go straight and sell it at the market price of 30,000 naira, netting a profit of 5,000 naira instantly. Now, George, on the other, on the other hand, since he bought the rice at 30,000 and sold to later at 5,000 naira, he is losing 5,000 naira. Scenario two, rice is at 21,000 naira. The same thing, Lindsay goes ahead and buy that rice at 25,000 naira because that is what is in the contract. Now, suppose she really, needs, she really needs money. She doesn't need the rice. She goes ahead and sells it immediately at it, at the market price of 21,000 naira. She is making a loss of 4,000 naira and George is making a profit of 4,000 naira. So this is futures trading. So futures trading is majorly used by producers and manufacturers who wants to make stable the fluctuating price of a commodity let me give you an example so a biscuit manufacturer can decide to go into a futures contract with a wheat farmer to get the price to get wheat at a particular price over a period of time now irrespective of the fluctuating price of the wheat the manufacturer of biscuits can still sell biscuits at a stable price over the period of the futures contract because it's getting wheat at a stable price now for traders traders don't really need to buy this underlying assets so in the case of wheat if a trader if it's a trader he wouldn't he wouldn't need to buy the wheat if it's the rice if it's a trader he doesn't need to buy the rice all he's interested is in the price movement of that particular assets and they now settle the difference at the expiration of that contract now let me go back to the slide and show you what i'm talking about so so if lint is a trader like i said she doesn't need to buy this rice so looking looking back at scenario one the market price is thirty thousand naira. the contract price is twenty five thousand naira. now what lint does as a trader it just goes go straight to george 
and George is going to give her 5,000 naira, which is the difference. Okay? For scenario two, the market price 21,000, the contract price 25,000 naira. As a trader, at the end of that contract, she just go and gives George 4,000 naira. In this case, she's using 4,000 naira. George is making a profit of 4,000 naira. This is futures trading. Interesting, right? In futures contracts, you can decide to be the buyer. In this case, we say you're going long. Or you can decide to be the seller. In, in this case, we say you are going short. I will explain that more later. Now, futures contract can be perpetual or time bound. So a perpetual futures contract is open until you closes it or your account is liquidated. Now, time bound means it's it expires at a particular date. It can be daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. So when if it's weekly, it expires at the end of the week. Monthly, it expires at the month, and so on and so forth. Again, because you are not actually buying the underlying assets in futures trading, it means that you can trade anything in futures trading. You can trade livestock, you can trade um yam, you can trade tomatoes, you can trade bitcoin, you can trade anything because you are only interested in the price movement and settling the differences are the expiration of that futures contract however we are talking we are talking cryptos here so um our underlying assets is actually cryptocurrency but then again we are not actually buying this on the line okay let's go back to the illustration i gave you notice that the buyer lindsay and the seller george did not bring any money forward in futures trading, especially with crypto in the real sense, you have to bring some a little a portion of the money forward as your insurance, or we say merging. So if we go back, this is just to be sure that you have money to settle the other parts in case you are on the losing side. Now, let's go back to the slide and let me just summarize that again. So Stelinti is the buyer, okay? She needs to put forward. She has to put forward an insurance. She, she, she does that with 5,000 naira. Okay? And say on December 9th, the market price of that rice is now 19,000 naira. And the contract price is 25,000 naira. Notice that at 19,000 naira, she's already at a loss of 5,000 naira. So what happens is that when her accounts or when the price drops to 20,000 error her accounts or she is going to be liquidated she will lose the whole of that 5,000 error now even if she believes that the price is going to get to maybe 30,000 error in december but it dropped and the money she put forward the money she put forward is now lower than the drop now it means that her account is going to be liquidated this is what we mean by your account being liquidated. Now, she can prevent this by actually adding more money to her balance, to her wallet, so that it will stop it from liquidating. Okay? Or maybe she closes the account if it's perpetual before that expiry, expiry date. Now, that is futures contract. So, in summary, I thought I was going to give you a summary. So, in summary, when you're trading futures, you do sort of two things. You go long, in this case, we say you are buying, or you go short. In this case, we say you are selling. If you go long, it means that I am predicting that the price of that particular asset is going to go up. If it goes up, I am making profit. If it goes down, I am making a loss. Now, if I am going short, it means that I'm predicting that the price of this asset is going to go down. If the price goes down, I make profit. If it's go, if it goes up, I am making a loss. So that's, that's so that is the summary of futures trading. That said, we're gonna to go to Binance now, and I will explain. I will walk you through the Binance platform and, and show you how to place um, your trade when you are trading futures. Also, we will be looking at things like um, what is leverage in uh, futures trading, what is cross margin, and what is isolated margin. So, uh, without much explanation they just they just get straight to the binance platform so this is binance and i am already logged on now if you have not signed up with binance 
make sure you use the link in the description to sign up you sign up and you verify your account when you verify your account you now log in when you log in this is what you're going to see so i'm going to show you first the uh, if you come to derivative so um by futures trading is a kind of derivative kind of trading so others have vanilla option and leverage token and and battles and the rest of them so um in, in binance we have two type of features you have usds future and you have coin and um, margin futures so for us usds it means that you you are settled in the base currency that you're settled in is usdt then this one you're settled in the coin that you're in the underlying assets in this case so that's why it's different between um, usds and coin margin futures Let's go straight to um, USDS. So I have clicked on that. Another thing you have to learn is how to actually fund your Binance um, futures wallet. Now, let me open this in another tab. Let me go to wallet and open in another tab. So I can click on feared and sports. So I'll just show you how to um, fund your Binance wallet. To do that you just click on transfer here click on transfer so if you receive your fund you receive goes straight to your fiat and sport wallet okay so if you're sending money if you're sending say currency to binance you send it straight to fiat and sport wallets i've explained this in my other video on binance the walkthrough of binance or how to fund uh, your binance accounts the link in, is also in the description so this fiat and spot wallet where you have your coin and this is your futures um wallet so what i want to do is you want to transfer usd usdt to my futures i already have a one thousand dollars there so if so i have 163 dollars in my futures um spots wallet in my spots wallet not futures wallet i want to transfer this from the spots wallet to the futures wallet so i can trade with this in the futures wallet so what I do is to enter the amount. Say I want to transfer, say fifty dollars, fifty dollars USDT. Just click it. Just type it here and click on confirm. Now this amount is going to be sent straight to my futures um wallet. Note that I already have some phone in my futures wallet. So I have about yeah one thousand one hundred sixty seven dollars in my futures. I just transferred the fifty dollars to it to make it this what it is right now. Going back to the futures um trading platform. So here at the top, at the top left corner here you have BTC USDT. Let me show you another thing and it says perpetual. Okay. Um, of course, you know what perpetual is that it remains open until your account is either liquidated or you close it in profit or loss, whichever. Uh, you, you can see BTC USDT. Now, this is different from how it is written in 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 sports. Let me go back to sports. If I go to trade and click uh, go to trade and click on classic, I will show you how it is written. So, at a glance, you actually know that this is the futures platform and this is a sport and fiat platform so for sport and fiat it's written btc slash usdt while in futures it's just btc usdt notice that the, the, the slash is missing okay let's proceed so this is the this is the coin here that we are looking at if you click on this drop down you see other markets you can go in so this is ong usdt ripple usdt qtum usdt so these are different markets you can trade right now we're trading um btc usdt so this is isolated margin and it's on isolated let me explain what this means i just click on it so you have cross and, and you have isolated so i know i i talked about the the money you put forward right so you have like i have you saw i have about 1000 something in my futures wallet right so one trading i can put for i can trade with say 100 dollars 
Okay. Now, supposing I didn't put a stop loss and I went to sleep and I bet that the market is going to go up and it started going down and I will get liquidated to the amount of the money I put forward. So if I put $500 forward, that $500 is going to get liquidated. Okay. Now, if I'm using cross, if I click here and use cross, it means that if I put $500 forward and I still have $1,500 left in my futures wallet, it means that even if I'm at a loss, when it has crossed that $500, I will not be liquidated. Okay, because they know that I have a backup. However, if I didn't close it and it keeps going down to the point that um, the whole $1,500 plus my $500 can all be liquidated if I'm using cross margin. So in isolated, you are isolating what you're using to trade from what's in your futures wallet. In cross, they are working together. So if you're starting, make sure you use isolated. Now leverage is, um, this is 5x, which is 5x leverage. It means that if I am making a profit, if I place, if I bet that the market is going to go up, if the market goes up by 1%, if I'm using 5x leverage, it means that my, my profit is actually multiplied by 5. If I use 25x leverage, it means that my profit is going to be multiplied by 25. Okay. And this actually works both ways. If the market is going against me, it means that if I'm making a loss of 1% and I'm using a 25x leverage, that my loss is going to be multiplied by 25%. So therefore, I'm going to get liquidated much, much faster. So only use this if you know what you are doing. For a start, you shouldn't use more than maybe 3x leverage if you are just starting. So that is the leverage. This is the price of Bitcoin at the moment. I've explained all these other ones when I was talking about um, sports wallets in my other video. Now here is the 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 charts. I like to use Trading View. That's why I have it on Trading View. I can actually click here to make it blow up. So this is where you conduct your technical analysis. This is where you conduct your technical analysis. Um, let me actually do something here. I can actually place some things here. By so I'm placing a line here. So by from technical analysis, there's another one here. This is strong support here. This could be another one. So from this point, this actually is a, a this actually is a, a support. So it's broken and that's why you see this long can going up. It might get to this point, we can never can tell. It might get to this point, but if it gets to this point, we actually expect it to go um, up. So if this candle gets here, I will actually, I'm actually going to bet that it's going to go the other way. But if it breaks it, it's going to go down further. That is why we use top loss. So what I'm saying is that this is where you conduct your analysis. Then this is the order book. I've actually explained the order book too in the order videos. This is the buy and sell orders. This um, is the volume indicator. This actually trades um, going on, the buying and selling activity going on. And here is where you place your orders. So you have the limit order, market order. You have trailing stop loss stop limits um stop market training stop loss and post only some of these things i've also explained in my sports video so this is the price you press the price here you press the size of bitcoin you want to buy and you click on buy if you want if you are betting that it's going up you click, you click on buy if you are betting that it's going to go down you click on sell so if you bet that it's going to go up and it goes up you make profit if it goes down and um, you make a loss. If you bet it's gonna go down, you click on sell or short. If it goes down, you make profit. If it goes up, 
you are making a loss or this 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 here is more like an indicator showing what it's doing once you have actually um placed your bets and this is basically the binance futures platform if you want to learn more on um futures trading and how to trade generally i suggest you just go straight to the city master course the link is in the description that said we are going to end this video here but before you end if you have any questions just leave it for me in the comment section i'll be happy to reply to your comments and show some love like this video so more, pe more persons are going to see it if you have not subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for click on the subscription button and subscribe click on the bell icon to get a notification when we release awesome videos like this and don't forget to always share this video the more you share the more i'm going to make awesome videos like this so i will see you in the next video bye